Yeah. I'm trying to get things simple for you. I'm trying to get things simple for you. Aren't I? Oh, yes. Okay, I'm about to destroy this answer. I'm about to destroy this answer. You ready? You better be ready. So guys, hey, I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank you so, so much for taking time out of your day to, um, to fill out the 2016 survey. We had a great response to this. Um, we had some awesome feedback and some really encouraging comments. And you guys were also very honest, which is really helpful. We really appreciate your honest feedback. Um, it's gonna help us to improve this place for everyone. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, I want to take the opportunity while I'm making this video to just give everybody a good understanding of uh, where our focus is, um, what our plan is, and kind of, um, yeah, as a business and as a, as a staff, what our priorities are, so that when I go through these, um, these, these results for the survey, it gives you a better understanding of, um, of what we're trying to achieve. So, uh, so firstly, guys, Anfit has always been about CrossFit. Um, our main product is CrossFit, and so it's absolutely our priority to make sure that our, um, our CrossFit classes are run really well, um, they're available regularly, and so CrossFit is always going to be our, our core business. And so it's good to, good to know that just so when we go through some of the, um, yeah, some of these answers on this survey, um, just keep in mind that our main business is CrossFit. Um, the second thing I wanted to just again tell you is that um, as far as the people that we focus on, we're very passionate about the general population. We want to make CrossFit available to everyone. So we just love seeing uh, mums and dads come in, teachers, students, lawyers, doctors, doctors nurses, um, just people of all walks of life and um, you know, seeing CrossFit help you guys in, in what you do during life. So although we are passionate about CrossFit as a sport as well, we enjoy the CrossFit Games Open, we enjoy the uh, local uh, competitions, you know, and we wanna uh, make provision for those who are passionate about um, CrossFit as a sport and those who view themselves as athletes um, by saying that our main focus is our general population. And so again, when we make our, when we make our decisions, um, we always consider that first, that um, we're about those people and, um, and we're about CrossFit. So, uh, so I hope that will help you just understand a bit of our thinking when we, um, when we talk through some of uh, the changes we'll make and uh, some of the decisions we make. So the first question on the survey was, what is the one thing that you love about Anfit? And the overwhelming response here was, the people um, is also, are awesome, the community and family feel of the place is awesome. And time and time again, just people, you know, you guys were saying family, people, community. And that's really, really encouraging because obviously our slogan is people first, fitness follows. And it's all good having a slogan. Um, but if that's not the experience of our members, then we're missing the point. So um, it's very encouraging for us to hear that that is what you guys are experiencing and that you do feel like this is your, uh, your second home. So thanks for that feedback. The second question was, if you could change one thing about Anfit, what would that be? And uh, the two things that stood out here are two things that we're very well aware of and two things that have probably frustrated us quite a bit over the last four years. Um, and that is the parking situation around Anfit and also the bathroom and shower um, situation. So I thought I'll take again this opportunity to give you a bit of uh, insight into the future and what's happening with Anfit. We lease the warehouse off Life, uh, which is the church next door. Now, Auckland Transport, um, they are building an underground rail link, um, which goes directly under our building, which means that our building is getting demolished, um, which is not a bad thing, it's a good thing. We are gonna be uh, relocating in 2018 with Life to uh, Normanby Road, just around the corner. And uh, Life is gonna be building a brand new facility with multi-story car parking. And this could be a great opportunity for Anfit to really get a purpose-built space um, with brand new bathrooms and showers, um, good parking, and so it's all going to be taken care of in 2018. Um, but as I'm sure you can understand, it doesn't make a lot of sense for us to be spending too much money right now um, building extra showers, extra changing rooms, um, or perhaps leasing parking around the area um, since we are moving um, in just a, a short year or two away. So I hope you guys can uh, understand that and um, we will continue to try and improve things. We'll look at the plumbing especially um, and just the water supply to the bathrooms to make sure the showers are always uh, working well and that, um, that flushing the toilet or opening the tap doesn't uh, stop the shower. So um, on top of those two things, there were a few other um, things that were pointed out. Uh, obviously we've just got a brand new pull-up rig um, and the, the pull-up bars were fairly high to start, start off with, 
We had industrial athletic come in last week to lower every second bar um, again. And so it should be much lower and more, uh, more easily to jump to for my shorties out there. So that's been taken care of. Um, the cleaning um, question, how we score in cleaning. We want to ask this question every survey because we want to be held accountable uh, every six months for how clean the place is. You guys deserve a clean space. You deserve a space that is uh, you know, not cluttered, um, not dirty, but a place that is well organized and clean. And so we want to make sure we provide that for you guys. Um, and we're, we're very pleased at what you guys scored us. Um, on average, we scored an 8.5 on cleaning. Um, so we thank you for that. Um, we're going to continue to improve the cleaning to make sure it's more regular. You will notice that on the floor now, there is uh, some spray bottles hanging up on the, um, on the red shelves, spray bottles and cloths. Um, these have disinfectant uh, spray in them. So it'll be amazing if you guys can commit to wiping your bars, your kettlebells, just all your equipment down after uh, your sweaty workout. That'll be amazing. Um, if you can please spray onto the cloth and then wipe things down, as opposed to spraying directly onto the bars, that'll be much appreciated. Um, now, the next question on the survey was, what are the staff at Anford doing well? Um, and there were many things, and we were really encouraged to root through these things. So again, thank you for, uh, for your encouragement and um, for your feedback. It, uh, it's really, it lifts us up to know that we're doing so much right. So, uh, so thank you for that. Um, now, very important, uh, the last question is very important and dear to my heart, and that is, uh, what can the staff at Anford do better? And this is important because what we provide is coaching. That's our service, that's our product, is our coaching. And we want to make sure that this is consistent across all the staff. We want to make sure that it is to a really high quality. And, uh, and your feedback was uh, very honest and it's going to help us a lot. Um, so some of the things that came through in the survey was you want consistency. So you want to come into a class and regardless of who's coaching, you're getting the same uh, service. Um, you, you all obviously value technique very highly and you want, um, you want coaching on technique every session, not just in the strength component or the gymnastics component, but also during the WOD. And so, um, so we had a staff meeting just uh, two nights ago. Uh, we caught up with the staff, ran through all the survey results, and we've come up with a plan to, um, to make sure that we're all coaching uh, the same way. So we've set a system in place um, that coaching now can follow to make sure the, system, the, the session runs the same regardless of who's coaching. Um, I'm also gonna be uh, running a six month coach development program with all the coaches. They're all gonna go through this over six months where I'm gonna upskill them and, um, and spend a lot more time with them. We've been very uh, lucky and blessed to have incredible, capable, educated people. Um, but even then, we can always learn and develop more. So I want to spend a lot more time with our coaching staff to make sure that they continue to upskill and improve themselves um, so that you get the value. Uh, one of the things that stood out to us in the survey was that um, there's a few of you that would like more um, focused coaching around gymnastics movements, um, around the Olympic lifts, uh, perhaps around mobility. Um, and the reason I before explained that we are about CrossFit is because there's a lot of different kind of offshoots from CrossFit, all these kind of speciality areas that people get passionate about, um, which is great because they are, they're all so, such awesome avenues to kind of pursue. Um, but the reality is uh, CrossFit class needs to be um, something that, you know, we get a bit of everything. So we kind of specialize in not specializing. We give you a bit of a taste of everything. Uh, we make sure you're competent in, uh, in a, a range of different skills. By saying that, we want to create opportunity for those who are passionate about or need to improve their gymnastics skill more. We want to provide something that's going to allow you to do that. And that goes for Olympic lifting, powerlifting, mobility, and all these other areas. We want to create something that's going to allow you to improve, um, but it's not going to take away from our, our CrossFit class, which needs to be around the class and not a, specif uh, a speciality class, if that makes sense. So what we've come up with is that over the next year, we're going to be running a bunch of block courses. These will range anywhere between four and eight weeks, and they'll be on a specific topic. So for example, in uh, March, we have a powerlifting block course coming up. So you'll be able to enroll into this block course, and we'll run for that period. Um, and what we'll do is if we don't feel like we have the skill to, um, to really teach that certain uh, modality really well, we'll get some experts in to come and run that block course for you. And so um, I think these block calls are going to be awesome. It's going to really allow you to, to choose the areas that you need to work on or choose the areas that you are passionate about and enroll in those block courses. So this will mean that we can keep our CrossFit schedule full of CrossFit classes and not take away um, you know, CrossFit classes for speciality courses that not everyone might be passionate about. Um, so look out for those. We'll announce, uh, we'll announce well in advance what block courses are coming up, uh, when they are, how much it costs, all those kind of things. So, um, so that's going to be a great change. 
The other change that we've made on this topic recently is the warm-up. We have recognized that within the warm-up there's a real opportunity to develop skill. We've got 10-15 minutes there to, um, to get the body warm, uh, but why not take the opportunity to actually work on some skills? And so you'll see from now on that the warm-up actually has a gymnastic skill in it. And that's gonna, um, that's gonna be there for you to get some, you know, over a week to really repeat um, that one skill and get more proficient at it. So if you see uh, within the warm-up that there's a pistol in there or there's a Turkish get up, that's there so that we can really get expo a lot of exposure over a week or two in that movement during the warm-up and, uh, and see so you all improve in that movement. So that's gonna be a good chance to see you guys uh, improve your skill work when it comes to gymnastics. There was some feedback around the programming at Anfit. Um, some of you felt that the workouts were not long enough or not intense enough. Um, and I'd love to have a chat about the programming. Um, I'm really passionate about it. And the reason CrossFit gives results and the very reason I was attracted to CrossFit was because of the intensity. Um, you, cannot, you, can't, you can't substitute intensity for anything else. Intensity is the number one thing that gives results. And so it's really important for us that our workouts allow our members and our athletes to, uh, to maintain good intensity throughout. And I'll explain this a bit more. If you work at a low intensity, um, so a low heart rate, but for a long time, as soon as you finish working out, your heart rate returns to normal pretty much straight away. And the benefit only comes during the workout. There's not much benefit prior, oh sorry, uh, past your workout. If you work for seven to say seven to 15 minutes and you maintain really high intensity, um, not only do you get huge benefit during the workout, but because of that high intensity, your heart rate and your metabolism is not gonna slow down for hours after. And so when you go to the office, go back to work, you're still benefiting from that high intensity workout. And so we really have to make sure that our intensity is at a high level every workout. Now, obviously, for those who are new at CrossFit, we encourage a lifelong journey and we want you to uh, slowly increase intensity. Um, but for those who've been here for a while, intensity should be, should be high. Um, now, you can only achieve this if you scale the workout correctly. If you do a movement too heavy or too high skill, it's gonna slow you down, okay? If you uh, decide to deadlift 100 kgs and you take 30 seconds to do one rep, there's gonna be a lot of standing around and the workout's not gonna feel very intense. So it's very, very important to make sure we scale the movement so that we can move fast through it. You should never be, have, have to rest or stand, stand there staring at the bar or the pull-up bar for too long. An example of this would be if, if there was muscle-ups in the workout and you had to get through 10. If you've only just learned to muscle-up and one of them takes you two or three minutes, um, sure, you might get through those 10 muscle-ups, but uh, you're going to be standing around for a long time staring at the rings and your heart rate is going to drop significantly. So the better option would be to say, hey, I'm going to work my muscle-ups outside of the workout. Um, but for this workout, I'm going to decide to do pull-ups instead because I can do 10 pull-ups back-to-back. I can move on and get onto the bar, up the wall wall, to the next movement. And so scaling is super, super important. Um, and so when it comes to the workouts, we have a six day cycle. And as you all know, within that six days, we take a break from the barbell once, uh, once every six days and we do a longer workout, a more like a 20 to 40 minute workout. We also do much longer workouts on Saturday morning. So you get two opportunities throughout the six day cycle to go a bit longer, work more on endurance. Um, but I truly believe that the benefit is in the seven to 15 minute high intensity workouts, the couplets and the triple, tri triplets, the classic cross workouts. And so it's not really uh, something that we're willing to compromise on or change, um, but rather just educate on, um, on the importance of intensity and scaling correctly. And we'd love to help you with this. So if you, if you are one of those people who feel like you're not getting a great workout, um, if you feel like you haven't had you know, you know, a high intensity, come and see us in, uh, before the workout and let us make some suggestions as to how you can scale it to achieve a high intensity. Uh, the other option, obviously, is we have OXO. OXO is a uh, much more of a cardiovascular focused, uh, longer workout. And so if you haven't tried OXO, I'd really encourage you to get along, jump into Lee Hain or, or Jacob's classes and try the OXO class. It's a uh, definitely a lung burner and you'll get a decent sweat up. So it's um, a bit of a different focus. And um, if you weren't aware, we do uh, provide additional programming for free. So we have a competition club page on Facebook where I give programming a month in advance it's additional work that you can add on to um, your class programming every day. And obviously at Anford we have open gym all the time. So you can come and, um, come and do that additional programming in your own time after class. Guys, we're just so pumped to have you as part of our family. Uh, we're excited about this year. I know I've said it a million times, but we really are. We just love improving things. Uh, we love how the community is progressing. You guys are all doing an amazing job. Um, please, please, please know that our focus is, or our our intention is for you to have fitness for a life for a lifetime, and so uh, I can't say it enough. Scale things down, 
um, you know, move, move slowly, progress slowly. There's no point in achieving everything in one day. Uh, we want to see you guys healthy and injury free um, for a long time. If you have got niggles, let us know. Um, Sherry is incredible and um, she just wants to help you all uh, recover and, and get back into doing functional movement, which is the, uh, you know, the thing that we really believe fixes everything, functional movement. We love you guys. We'll see you back in the box shortly.